Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to install, run, test, develop WordPress locally on your Windows PC or your Mac computer with something called DevKinsta. Now, Kinsta itself is a WordPress hosting company. They developed this free software application called DevKinsta that is available to customers and non-customers alike. Basically, anybody in the public can download this application and leverage pretty much like 99% of its functionality. And like I said, this allows you to create on-demand WordPress websites that run locally on your computer, whether that's Windows or Mac. So if that's something you're interested in learning how to do, what we're going to do today in, in this video is walk you through some of the features, show you how to create a new site. We can pick different versions of PHP. It takes care of all of the databases, all that stuff, and you can have full access to a fully functional WordPress install in pretty much as many as you would like to have. So let's go ahead and hop on into the tutorial here. All right, so we have DevKinsta, the user interface here. I already installed it. The installation process, I will say, um, I did have some trouble installing Docker, and you might not know what Docker is, and I wasn't too familiar with it either, but it's basically a, a containerized way to install software on your computer. So if you run into an issue with installing Docker, and it, the, the install process actually does that for you, but there was some sort of issue with that, so I just installed it separately, and then it ended up working for me, no problem. So um, with DevKinsta installed, and I'll have a link to that in the description below, you'll have a user interface that looks something like this. Now, I was in here playing around before, so I created these two WordPress websites. As you can see, this one's running WordPress 5.6.1, this one's running WordPress 5.5, they have different versions of PHP, and this one is about half the size of this one up here. So um, this is just the main user interface. Over here, we can either open the site, uh, look at the local website, like the actual files of the website on the local computer, or open up the WordPress admin menu, and then there's some other options over here that we'll look at. But let's, let's first take a look at this site. Again, this is running on my local computer here at this domain name, right? It's it's not technically a domain name, but I'll, we'll go into that in a little bit. I'll show you kind of how that works. Um, and then this is just like my, my basic landing page here, right? A, a full WordPress website. Um, let's get out of here. Let's take a look at the local file system files. So that'll open up your finder window and you have your, your standard WordPress installation files. So uh, important ones, index.php, you have your wp-config.php file here. And this is located uh, by default in your home directory in a subdirectory in here called devkinsta. Um, you'll have your public directory and then these are my two sites right now. Uh, one last thing is the WordPress admin dashboard. So we can click on that and that'll take you right to your WordPress admin dashboard. And this was uh, what I was saying. This is a, a fully functioning install of WordPress. Okay, and I was in here obviously playing around with it. I installed um, installed some plugins and all that stuff. So uh, you're free to develop locally as necessary. Now, um, what I wanna show you here is how to create a new site from scratch. So we can do that as you would guess up here in the upper right hand corner, add a site. This is what you're all here for. So you can add a new WordPress site. Again, if you're if you're a, a, uh, a Kinsta customer, you can import it from your Kinsta uh, hosting dashboard or create a custom site. So basically a new WordPress site, there's gonna be minimal configuration options. This is the quickest way to get set up and running with WordPress. Uh, you can look around at that at your leisure, but I think what's cool is a custom site where we can play around with one of the, some of these settings. So. For example, you can pick your PHP version and let's let's go through this whole process. So we'll call this like test site, test site, something like that. And um, it's showing you this is going to be your domain name. This is where it's going to be located, that directory that we were just in. The web server is Nginx, which is not changeable at this point. Um, you can pick your PHP version. Let's pick the latest version, 8.0. Uh, that's going to be our database name here, test site. We'll just leave that as default. You can enable HTTPS if you would like to. I'm going to do that here. And then for your WordPress details, this is going to be the actual name of the site from the WordPress perspective that uh, your user for WordPress, your admin user, I'm going to say Tony at TonyTeaches.tech. The username is going to be Tony Teaches Tech. And just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to put that as the password as well. 
if you're interested in multi-site, uh, this is probably going to be the easiest way to install multi-site. Just check that box, but that's not going to be for us this time around. So create this site. We'll see how long this takes to create our site. And as you can see, all of our information uh, that we chose was here. And we'll let this run in the background. Um, while that's running, I want to show you how this, uh, we'll go back to the home page here, how this is able to create these um, local domain names. And the way it's able to do this, we're going to open up a terminal window here and look at our etc hosts file. And this is good information to know um, just in general about how to do something like this locally. So basically your, your etc host file is a way to map a, a host name to an IP address. So for example, down here you can see um, Tony dash teaches dash tech local is mapped to my local IP address, uh, which is by default, if you're not familiar, 127.0.0.1. So it kind of just like loopbacks to your local computer. Swamp views in here as well. And I can guarantee you that when this installation finishes in the background, uh, which it looks like it's almost done, we can go back into the ETC host file and we'll see that there's going to be a new entry for uh, test site as well. Um, so let's, um, it's prompting me to enter my credentials to continue with this. And actually, that's exactly what I'm talking about, the host file here. So let's go ahead and provide those credentials. And it'll continue up. Oh, it also wants us to provide credentials for SSL certificate installation. And there we go. So we are, uh, looks like we're up and running with that site. Let's test it out. And this is uh, going to be your basic uh, 2021 theme, vanilla. I think for the most part, a vanilla install of WordPress. So let's go ahead and log in to the WordPress admin dashboard. And we could have used the, the shortcut back there too. And the way you can tell if it's a vanilla WordPress installation, if you go to plugins, installed plugins, and you have these two default plugins, Hello Dolly and the anti-spam plugin here. Um, so yeah, this is this is the starting off point where you can go ahead and experiment with different plugins and themes and all that stuff. Uh, we won't do that in this video, but let's go ahead and just bring this full circle. Look at our etc hosts file, and now we do indeed see our test site test test dash site dot local here, um, and that looks good. So let's uh, let's just take a look at this one last sub menu in here. These three dots. So you got your database manager, and this is like, if if you never did something like this, the best way I can relate is uh, like PHP my admin. So you can go in and see the actual underlying tables for WordPress. So your WordPress posts table here, um, your WordPress users table, comments table, stuff like that. So um, definitely, um, a good way to experiment around with some of this stuff locally where it's not in a development production environment i should say um because it's it's low hanging it's it's basically if you mess something up you can simply come in here delete the site and you saw how quick it was in a matter of a couple of minutes we had a new site up and running with the latest version of php and the latest version of wordpress um so basically that's i think all that i wanted to say um if if you are a wordpress customer I'm sorry, if you are a Kinsta customer, you could push your changes up to the actual hosting site to make it public, push to staging. That's what that does, this button right here. Um, but that's like the 1% functionality that you you don't get to take advantage of if you're not a Kinsta customer. I, I do have other videos, if you're not familiar with Kinsta, that you guys could check out over here. Um, great WordPress hosting, can recommend it. Uh, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. If you want to see more from me in the future, definitely consider subscribing. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.